Guyana TV Sports gets out of the block with some track and field news as the start of the 2021 local high school track and field season has been delayed with both meets set for tomorrow put on hold after the Ministry of Health and Wellness failed to sanction them. Now, the Jamaica College Pure Water Danny Williams Development Meet and the Ted Dwyer Classic and Pentathlon Challenge set for Excelsior High have been shelved for the time being due to the government's ban on gatherings over 15 people. Tomorrow would have been opening day of the high school track and field season leading up to the Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. The government ban on large gatherings will remain in effect at until at least the third week of January. The high school meet to be staged was Tyson Mills Classic at Calabar in December. We bowl over to some cricket news now. Cricket West Indies is reporting that all members of the touring party to Bangladesh have tested negative for COVID-19. CWI started the first of a series of COVID-19 tests on all members of the Bangladesh touring party on January 2 and following receipt of the results, it has confirmed that all members of the touring party have returned negative results. Members of the touring party took their second and final pre-travel COVID-19 test on Wednesday. Guyanese bowler Romario Shepard has been forced to miss the trip after he returned a positive COVID-19 test and has been replaced by Keon Harding in the one-day international squad set to play three games. Fast bowler Harding was among the reserves for the Tour of England last summer. The West Indies set to arrive in Bangladesh later this week. Meanwhile, Bangladesh has appointed John Lewis as batting coach for their next two bilateral series against the West Indies and New Zealand. Lewis replaces Neil McKenzie after he stepped down from the role in August and although Craig McMillan was named as batting consultant for the now postponed Sri Lanka Chess Series, the former New Zealand batsman didn't take up the role subsequently following a family bereavement. Lewis's last high-profile appointment was with Sri Lanka from December 2018, having overseen their progress during the 2019 World Cup. He had previously been linked with the current vacancy as England's batting coach after working with the one-day team ahead of their series against Ireland in August 2020. Still on cricket, Paul Sterling's 10th ODI century was not enough as Ireland slid to a shock six-wicket defeat in the opening game of their four-match ODI series against the United Arab Emirates today. Sterling carried his bat for 131 from 148 balls, his second successive turn in ODI cricket in a total of 269 for five in Abu Dhabi. Having lost Kevin O'Brien for 23, Sterling and the skipper Aldi Barbini, 53, shared a partnership of 102 to put Ireland on a solid footing, but the middle order batsmen were unable to capitalize. Ireland then failed to break a fourth wicket stand of 184 between Trindanga Poil and Rizwan, 109, and Mohamed Usman, 105, not out both of whom also reached three figures to secure a win for the Emirates with six balls to spare. The home side was reduced to 51 for three in the 13th over, but Rizwan and Ozwan turned the innings around and secured victory to give the home side, who were forced to reshuffle their side after two players tested positive for COVID-19, a 1-0 series lead. The second match takes place at the same venue on Sunday. On to tennis news now. Ukrainian rising star Diana Yastremska has been provisionally suspended from all tennis activities following a positive doping test. A urine sample given by the 20-year-old ranked 29th in the world in an out-of-competition test on November 24 was found to contain metabolite mesterolone, a synthetic testosterone. Yastremska was charged with an anti-doping rule violation on December 22, and the provisional suspension takes effect from January 7. The Ukrainian chose not to challenge the provisional suspension by the organization. 
Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with the play of the night, Eric Fournier's game winner versus the Miami Heat. Aaron Gordon will inbound it. Ross was not available. Fournier is. One dribble. Let's it fly. He throws it! Take another look. Evan Fournier, who missed a free throw just a moment ago that could have given the Magic a one-point lead. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. I'm Christopher Scott. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.